begins. You can see everybody rushing for the shoes. <sighs> Look at all these people. Crazy. Will it be Jimmy Jazz? Will it be Shoe City? Let's figure out who loyal today. You already know you already know what's on feet today, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, turn oh, Alright, so we about to walk into Shoe City real quick. Go ahead and cop us a pair. The mine not even that deep, so we good. It's tough. So foot so foot action set me up nicely. Shoe City was on game, so you already know foot action. Ah, can finally get on out of here. Simple. Hi guys, my name is Ozzy, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement that came out on February 17th, 2018, this past Saturday. And as you can see early in the video, I just got this for foot action. And go ahead and press the subscribe button, press the like button, and tap the notification bell next to my channel name to be notified when I upload a new video. And basically, these shoes retail for $200. Let me go ahead and focus that for you real quick. These shoes retail for $200, and the tax was 6% in Maryland, so I ended up paying $212. So yeah, now let's go ahead and open up the box. I ain't really wanna do it. I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof. Remember when you was my boo? Now every time you see me, I be starting on you I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Remember when you was- Alright, so let's go ahead and get straight into the review So as you can see on the left shoe, there's a hang tab There's only a hang tab for one shoe On the right shoe, there's no hang tab There's only a hang tab on the left shoe And as you can see, the hang tab is orange Not red, not reddish orange It's this, or this shade of orange right here You flip it around it's flipped so yeah and right here you see there are perforations right here perforations are the little holes for ventilation by the way for those of you that didn't know and there are perforations on the ankle collar the ankle lining right here right there and there's also perforations on the tongue here here all the way through there and one thing that you want to remember, on every pair of Air Jordan uh, 3 black cements in this colorway, there are five red eyelets. The eyelets are the circles that the laces go into. There's one, two, three, four, five, which the laces are in right now. And as you can see, it's the same on this side as well. One, two, three, four, five. And then the regular black eyelets at the top, one, two, three, and then these ones right here the gray ones in the cement gray colorway that's one and two one on two on this side as well and when you get the shoes they come they come loose like this this is this is the factory lease so uh, just to look out for that unless someone unlaced them but if you're getting them straight from the store they won't be they will be factory released just like this and as you can see the air bubble is gray the same color gray that's on that's the ankle lining and on the bottom of the shoes. And one thing that you want to look out for is the elephant print, which is the most significant part of the shoe. It's very iconic. Like one of the first shoes to ever have the design. A lot of sneakers have replicated this design or tried to like imitate it and try to switch it up to make it look like their own. But of course, Tinker Hatfield knew what he was doing when these came out in 1988. And look at it now. It's so popular that they keep bringing it back. So the elephant print wraps all the way around the toe box right here and it also wraps around the back panel right there and you want to look the elephant print is not gray it's not black the elephant print is actually like this darker gray it's not the same color as the the gray right here it's a it's just like a dark charcoal colored gray so just a look out it's not black it's gray dark charcoal gray and uh what else what else oh yeah yeah so the tongue is gray too and the jump man is red as you can see and on the interior of the tongue it's red lining and right here around the ankle 
it's gray and as you can see on the inside it says Nike Air I'm gonna put some b-roll over this because my camera's not picked up right now but uh, that's what the Nike Air look, looks like the Nike Air is black and the insole is red the same color red as right here on the insole of the tongue and yeah so on the back of the shoe unlike the 2011 pair it has Nike Air on the back instead of the Air Jordan logo because on the 2011 pair it has the Jumpman logo on it in white this one it says Nike Air which is one of the reasons why the shoe costs a little bit more the retail was 200 so yeah like the past releases from 2016 and uh, what do you call was uh, 220 so I'm glad anywho like I was saying there's the Nike Air. The previous uh, shoes that had the Nike Air on the back, like the Air Jordan uh, 5s that came out in 2016, the black, the metallic uh, silver, they were 220 retail. And I ended up having to pay like $233.90 because of tax. So, you know, it's good that they're lowering the price and making it more available. I mean, it's still pretty limited because I'm pretty sure it sold out the first day. But it was relatively easy to get. Because my store didn't have, the store I went to, they didn't do a raffle. It was first come, first serve. And I got there as soon as the mall opened. So, yeah, I woke up early. And I just went in and got them. Couldn't get my Shoe City. So, foot action came through. Shoe City wanted to run out my size. But that's neither here nor there. And then, as you can see on the bottom of the shoe, it has the Nike in red. No Jordan logo on the bottom. And then, of course, this red part right here, the gray stars all around the toe box. And right here, there are white stars. And then right here on the back, the stars are gray. So gray stars here, white stars there, and gray stars at the toe box. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for the review. I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch over to the um, on-feed portion of the review. And uh, that's all for now. I'm out. Peace. I ain't really wanna do it. I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof. Remember when you was my boo? Now every time you see me, I be starting on you I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Remember when you was my boo Now every time you see me, I be on sneaky move I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Oh, I heard you gotta do now every time I see him, I stun on him too I know he ain't finished shoe Ay. I'm riding solo all by myself, all in the cool Girl, it could be me and you Ay. I brought that bag out South Beach to flex Ain't on your Ain't off you, girl, I just know you was a lesson She used to think that you was an angel straight out of heaven don't lie, me, me and you still was a blessing me wrong and I still feel it in my chest down. I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Remember when you was my boo Now every time you see me, I be starting on you I ain't really wanna do it I pulled up, drop top, you know I dropped the roof Remember when you was my boo
chasing She just want the finer things She know that I'm in my bag And she just want designer things I know she gon' give me play But I won't even buy a ring She just want some money But ain't trying to say who hiring Girl, just meet me at the West Thorn If that little boy send his shots Hope he got his vest on Pull up in that coupe by myself I feel like Teflon Pulled up to see no one Your friend need a ride I'm dead wrong So my brothers It's gon' be okay Pull up waving at the haters Skirt off in that hey okay Pull up in that coupe Waving at the haters a okay Pull up in that coupe Girl, I know that you can see my way When you're feeling lonely I can pull up on you, baby When you're feeling lonely I can pull up on you, shorty When you're feeling lonely I can pull up on you Amazing, uh, ain't even gay 